Well, if you didn't know, according to the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control, skin cancer is the most common form of cancer in the U.S. Thousands of Americans are diagnosed with the disease every year. And our Jewel Hillary joins us live from the Baptist Medical Center to tell us on how you can learn more about protecting yourself from the illness. Good morning, Jewel. Good morning, Brandon and Katina. Well, the Baptist Medical Center in Madison is hosting a free skin care seminar this evening. It's entitled Drawing from Your Strengths Fight Skin Cancer with Marshall Ramsey. Now, the seminar begins at 6 o'clock tonight, and doctors, along with Marshall Ramsey, who's a political cartoonist as well as a melanoma survivor, will be on hand to discuss prevention and treatment options for skin cancer. Now, to tell us a little bit more about the disease and how you can help prevent skin cancer, I'm joined by registered nurse Kathy Parker. She is the skin care consultant for the Clinic of Plastic Surgery. Thank you so much for joining us Good this morning. morning. And so prevention is key. That's what you were telling me. Absolutely. Absolutely. We don't understand uh, or one of my hardest lessons in dealing with uh, skin care is uh, people don't understand the damaging the rays. Today is a perfect example. It's cloudy. It's overcast. You're still getting sun exposure. Okay. Sunscreen is it just needs to be a part of your your regimen. You don't leave home without it. The A-rays are prevalent today. They penetrate the clouds. They penetrate the wind windows of our home, our windshields. Okay. The B-rays are, are there. They're the ones we feel. They're the burning rays. The A-rays are a hundred times more prevalent in the atmosphere. Okay. And you have this a little, a little, a little, little illustration to I show do. us. And um, to show you the difference, the B-rays, this is the, the depth. This is a, a diagram of the skin. This is the depth of, that the B, B rays will penetrate. The A rays, you can see, penetrate 30 to 40 percent deeper. Okay. So everybody, you, when you're looking or selecting a sunscreen, you need to make sure it says broad spectrum. Okay. That means it's blocking or protecting from the UVA, UVB rays. Okay. And uh, it needs to be at least an SPF of 30, right. if not above. And, and of course, look for, we're coming into the summer season. You need to find one that's waterproof, sweatproof, and reapply. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Mm -hmm. Truly appreciate it. And I'm sure you just helped a lot of people out. I hope so. Thank you. And if you are interested in participating in the seminar, again, it takes place at the Baptist Health Center in Madison. It's at 6 o'clock p.m. And if you're interested in registering, you can contact Baptist at 601-948-6262. Again, this is free and open to the public. And prevention is key. That's what we've been hearing. So if you think you may have skin cancer or know someone who has it, you're definitely invited to come on out tonight. Katina and Brandon, back to you. All right. Thank you, Joel, and got a nice preview there. You know, what's on those bottles of skincare products yeah. and, you know, what, what's really good, the SPF 30 and broad spectrum. That's what you're looking for in those skincare products. You're going to learn more at 6 o'clock tonight there.